This video is a part two to our robot challenge. This is an extension to the robot printing plate that we made in my last video. If you have not made a printing plate, please go back and check the first video before continuing on to this one. You will need tin foil and some kind of washable marker. Crayola washable marker works just fine. I don't have any at home, but I do have this pack of brush pens. And as long as they are washable, that they are water soluble, they'll work just fine for this print. I'm going to measure out the amount of tin foil I need to cover my robot. Yep, there he is. And make sure you have a little bit of edges a little, a little edge all along the side. So now that I can see where my robot is, I'm just gonna cut off the extra. And I'm actually gonna put some glue along the background areas too, so that once I push the foil down, it'll stay down. The glue doesn't have to cover everything perfectly. You just want it to be kind of sticky when you lay your tin foil down. Right. I'm going to take my finger and really rub along every edge. Now the tin foil I have is heavy duty, so it won't rip as easily. But if you don't have heavy duty and you just have regular, it should still work. Just be careful, don't poke into the tin foil too hard. Now for marker prints, you're going to need water and either paper towels or rags, some dry and some wet. So over here I have a bowl with a little bit of water I have a wet paper towel and I have a dry rag. I'm going to leave those to the side because before I wet anything, I need to color my robot in first. I have a print plate that is ready to print. I'm gonna put this to the side because I don't want to, any water to get on the printing plate. I want my paper to be the one that gets wet. I'm going to wet my paper by using, um, you can use paper towels again. If you have a spray bottle, you could spray water on there. Um, I'm going to wet a paper towel so it gets super shiny and wet for a minute. And I'm going to make sure the whole surface is nice and shiny. After, I don't know, about 30 seconds, I'll start to see the paper change color. It'll start to get these little darker spots on it. What that's telling me is that the water is sinking into the paper. That's what we want. We want the water to be inside the paper, not just sitting on the surface. We want it to soak through. And I'm just going to keep tapping my wet paper towel anywhere where I see light spots still, because that area doesn't have enough water in it. Now, the problem is, if I put my robot on top of this just the way it is, with the paper being really shiny and there being lots of water, my robot is gonna go all over the place. It's gonna smear everywhere. So the last step after you wet your paper and it has soaked through is to dry just the surface. So you can use a regular paper towel um, I'm using a cloth rag to show you, you can use that too. And you'll notice there are some white spots here and there. Um, I think I'll leave them and it might affect my print, it might not, I don't know. But the way to tell that the water is off the surface is if, if you look at it from the side and you could put your eyes down at the level of your table to see, it's not shiny anymore. It's dark because it's wet, but the surface isn't shiny. That's how I know I can print safely. So I'm gonna flip over 
my robot printing plate and I'm going to smooth it down. And I'm going to make sure I press along each of the sections a couple times. Pat it, rub it, and then while I'm holding it in place, I'm going to try and peek just to see if it's working. Okay, so it is working, but some places aren't showing up very well, so I'm going to rub a little bit harder in some areas. Uh, another thing I can do is try a rolling pin if you have one of those, roll it back and forth. Sometimes your hand works better, sometimes having something to press evenly along the whole printing plate helps as well. So I'm going to peel up my plate and there's my robot print. I can see exactly where the paper was still a little too wet because it got a little blurry right there. But this is a really good first print. Um, it came out really well and before I let this sit on the table, you want to put it somewhere to dry. If you have a drying rack, that would be the best place to put this so it's not sitting on a flat surface. The great thing about this printing plate is, is you can keep reusing it. I can see exactly the spots where the ink didn't come off. So to clean it off, I'm just going to wet another paper towel and wipe it just carefully off, clean the surface, and then you, very important, you need to make sure that you dry it, you dry it off next. So this is a, another option. And if you get all the way through all those steps and you're able to make a marker print, I'm going to tell you right now, nice job for going the extra mile and trying it out. They are super fun to do. And again, you don't have to just do this for your robot. If this is something you like or you think would be a fun thing to do for one of my themes in the coming weeks, feel free to do this again. Please share your work because I would love to see what you come up with and I hope that you enjoy creating.